hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to talk about microsoft defender for identity which is an identity security solution offered by microsoft and the purpose is to make sure that it observes everything that's happening in your on-prem environment and get that correlated with the cloud insights for identities and other domains as well okay now for those of you who have worked or let's say who know the solution uh, from the past, uh, they know that it's basically the new name for Azure Advanced Threat Protection. Now, when this entire rebranding of uh, Microsoft was happening, wherein all the names were changed from ATP to Defender. So for example, Office 365 ATP was changed to Microsoft Defender for Office 365. WD ATP was changed to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Similarly, Azure Advanced Threat Protection was renamed to Microsoft Defender for Identity. This is the very first information that you should know. Now let's understand what is the purpose of Defender for Identity and what is exactly uh, why the solution fundamentally even exists. Okay, so it's a cloud native security solution that helps you protect identities across your organization and it is natively integrated with Microsoft Defender XDR. Now, for those of you who have seen our ITDR uh, video, they will be able to relate this particular section that how Microsoft is narrating the ITDR story because they are terming ITDR as a strategy wherein you should have intra ID, intra identity protection, Defender for identity and Microsoft Defender XDR. Okay, if you have all these solutions fundamentally and you're making sure the insights coming from all your identities are getting captured and correlated, then your ITDR's story is kind of sorted. Okay, however, the question still remains the same. What is Microsoft Defender for Identity? Now, to answer that, you have to understand three different components that exist for this particular solution. Okay, as of now, just pay focus to this particular section. I'll tell you the importance of this section as well. Okay, now the very first component of Defender for Identity is Defender for Identity Sensor. Then you have Defender for Identity Cloud Service, and then you have Microsoft Defender for Identity Portal, which is fundamentally the XDR portal itself, security.microsoft.com. So think about Defender for Identity as an identity security solution that has three different components. The very first one is Defender for Identity Sensor, Defender for Identity Cloud Service and the portal itself. Okay, now let's talk about the purpose of the first component which is Defender for Identity Sensor. Now if I go by the naming convention itself it is clearly evident that this must be some application on agent which will be installed on some machine okay now fundamentally defender for identity sensor can be installed on domain controller adfs servers adcs servers and antra connect servers but the purpose of this sensor is to capture windows events from these particular machines as well as network traffic from your domain controller. So now the question is why exactly, you know, this is required. So understand that, let's say there is some activity which is happening in your on-prem environment. Let's say some group membership change, some random LDAP discoveries or reconnaissance activity which is happening in your on-prem environment. Now this information has to be routed to let's say some cloud service so that it can be shown on security.microsoft.com, right? As well as, this is just one of the example. Let's say there is some fishy activity which is happening, or let's say there is some malicious activity which is happening on your ADCS server. Then there must be someone, uh, or let's say some service which is monitoring that particular activity through logs, okay? So fundamentally, from domain controllers, ADFS servers, ADCS servers, and Entra Connect servers. From all these four categories of servers, Windows events are captured because anything and everything that's happening on these particular machine is, is an audited action, 
right? It will be audited in the form of Windows events. And then assume that there is a specific service uh, which has this intelligence to let you know that when a specific activity can be classified as an anomaly. So it will kind of create an alert or incident for you. Now, not only Windows events, as I've said before, from domain controller, network traffic is also captured. Now, this basically means anything which is incoming to your DC or any endpoint which your DC is contacting. The entire traffic which is routed either to or from DC is captured with the help of Nmap. I mean, it's a kind of, let's say, component that's installed by default with MDI classic sensor. We'll come to that in a lot more detail. However, as of now, just understand everything when it comes to Windows events and that too, which have security context, right, is kind of captured from all these different categories of servers as well as network traffic is captured by Defender for Identity Sensor. But now the question is that, okay, all the information, all the security related Windows events and everything is captured, but what's next? So when it comes to the next step, there is a decent amount of parsing which has been done uh, on the sensor itself. And then this parsed information is kind of routed or sent to Defender for Identity Cloud Service. Now think about this particular section as uh, a service which is receiving all the logs, all the network activities from your on-prem environment because of Defender for Identity Sensor and then it is performing all the logic and you know all the analysis and then fundamentally if anything malicious or let's say if there is anything for which an alert or incident has to be triggered that part is created, that incident is created for you and you can manage that incident from security.microsoft.com portal, which is fundamentally the Defender XDR portal. Okay, so now let's say if I quickly show you one alert, which is created by MDI, we'll come to this in a lot more detail, but this is just for your information. You can see right now I'm logged into security.microsoft.com. I'm inside this incident section and I can see a security principle reconnaissance. Now, how this information is available here because from my DC, all the logs uh, when it comes to Windows security event logs or any type of logs which are related uh, or which have security context, they are getting ingested to cloud service. And then there was an anomaly which was observed uh, on this particular machine uh, and it is trying to communicate to my DC. I can see this particular alert here and I can go ahead and check all the details in terms of required assets and whatnot. So we'll talk about this in a lot more detail, but this is how the look and feel of MDI looks like uh, when it comes to security.microsoft.com incident section. Okay. So now to summarize uh, what exactly Defender for Identity is, it's basically a cloud native security solution, which kinds of monitor everything that's happening in your on-prem environment. And when I say on-prem environment, I'm specifically talking about identity security solutions, or let's say I'm specifically talking about the aspects which are related to identity security. Now it captures Windows events from your domain controllers, ADFS, ADCS, and Entra Connect, as well as it captures network traffic from your domain controllers. And once all this information is captured, then the cloud defender for identity cloud service kinds of find anomalies and let's say some malicious activities. And then based on that, a incident and alert is created. That's the purpose of Defender for Identity. But then there is one more section, which kinds of, uh, you know, which is Microsoft is highlighting always. And that is, it is closely integrated with XDR. Now, what does this fundamentally means that it's not only about Defender for Identity. If I go to security.microsoft.com, this portal kinds of highlights all the incidents which are generated by MDO, MDI, and MDE as well, right? And that's the reason why you see over here, Defender for Identity as a detection source. Now, let's say if I have an endpoint onboarded to MDE, and there is some malicious activity that's happening on that particular endpoint, and just assume that that particular endpoint is something which is used by this particular user, which is MDI test user. Okay. So then in this case, 
what will happen fundamentally that the incidents or let's say the alerts which will be generated for this particular machine through MDE will be correlated here and that's that's why or you can say that's the fundamental idea of extended de detection and response that the information that's coming from one digital state is kind of correlated with multiple other digital states as well and you can see one single stitched story here on security.microsoft.com okay so this is how defender for identity works in a nutshell and if you go ahead and read any of the public documentation which is available with microsoft defender for identity this is how they show the current architecture right wherein the information from your on-prem environment is captured through sensors i've shown you how then this information is also correlated with enter id just to make sure that if there is any fishy activity that's happening in your on-prem environment with a specific account and similarly there are some let's say brute force attempt happening with that particular account through enter id it can be correlated and then in a nutshell the identity insights that can be ingested or let's say that can be tracked from other identity security solution as well now once you go ahead and read about microsoft defender for identity let me just show you this particular section that i am referring to and there is a very specific reason why i wanted to show you this so let's say if i type microsoft defender for identity okay and let's say if i open the first link itself where it it briefs about the solution okay so just read this with me okay deploy defender for identity to help your SOC uh, your SecOps team deliver a modern identity threat detection and response solution across hybrid environments now when I say hybrid environments it is specifically targeting those customers or those environments where there is on-prem presence as well as cloud presence. Now, when I say cloud, I'm specifically referring to Microsoft uh, Azure AD or Microsoft Entry ID. Okay. Now, what all it includes? It helps you prevent breaches using proactive identity security posture assessment. Now, think about it. When I was talking about ITDR, I was very specifically mentioning this point that it's now no longer about just protecting your identity. It's about protecting identity and identity and access management solution. I mean, the actual solution uh, that you are using that is for your identity, you have to make sure that you have protected that as well. Okay. So when it comes to Microsoft Defender for Identity, it does help you, let's say, by recommending some of the controls that can be implemented for your actual solutions. Okay. And let me show you one example here and then things will make a lot more sense okay just give me a minute microsoft defender for identity if i'll click on apply then you can see i'm getting certain recommendations which are related to the identity security solution or let's say identity solution itself okay so it says built-in active directory guest account is enabled or disabled i mean these are all different let's say a recommendation which you are getting because of defender for identity okay so that's what microsoft means when they say prevent breach because if you go and read in the the same section in the article it says using proactive identity security posture assessment so there is some assessment which has been done by defender for identity and that's why you're seeing all these results over here that's what they mean when they say prevent breach okay then you have detect threats because fundamentally speaking all the information is flowing in real time so if there's any anomaly you'll come to know then investigate suspicious activities again a detailed step-by-step -step instructions to how to handle an incident which i've shown you from this particular section so if you'll go ahead and navigate any incident that's created by any fundamentally speaking uh, solution which microsoft has and once you go to the section of let's say details in the incident itself it will show you step by step process which has happened and which has resulted this particular incident altogether i can click on investigations as well and 
as this incident matures or let's say the different set of information which is available for this particular incident it will keep on populating over here okay lastly is respond to attack so basically what happens if you have uh, let's say Microsoft Defender for identity and if you are investigating any incident or alert okay and assume that you uh, get let's say uh, you want to take an action for that particular identity let's say there is some identity that exists in your on-prem environment and you are sure that this identity is compromised or there is something uh, there is something fishy happening with this particular identity and I should just go ahead and disable this okay in this case the portal itself which is security.microsoft.com gives you privileges to perform two different actions okay the first one is disable user in ad and the other one is force password reset these are the two actions which are available so that's what microsoft means when they say respond to attack in mdi documentation so this was all about knowing what is Microsoft Defender for Identity. In the next video, we'll get started with the prerequisites that you have to keep in mind before you go ahead and deploy Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensor. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.